Berkeley, your coworkers here yes. actually wanted me to ask because you just work on the monologue, right? Primarily, not just, yeah. But, um, yes. Not just, not it is the me. first thing in the show. That's true. <laughs> but they don't know what you do. <laughs> they, they wanted to know what you guys do in there. I guess yes. you have some kind of secret chamber or something. Yeah, not the chambers, but some, <laughs> a right. sub chamber, a sub <laughs> Mordecai chamber. chambers. Um, yeah, we. I primarily work on the monologue with uh, three and a half other very talented people. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, or two and a half talented people and one other guy. You gotta grow up on a peyote farm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, we, so that's what we do during the day, and then generally after the show, like, I'll, I'll like, we'll work on, like, year 2000s if there's something like that going on, or celebrity surveys. It's or a something. great story. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. <laughs> um, and Sarah Val just fucking got me. <laughs> <laughs> you walked right into a trap. <laughs> What would you like to know specifically? I now he's missed. Ooh, um, like what is the best uh, like newspaper or mag? I'm sure like Sarah Palin, you have to read all the magazines and newspapers. Like what's the? What's yeah, it's the, very it's very hard to find stuff on her. What's the one? Um, <laughs> what's the one publication that is is like the most gets you have the most gold from? I you know I hate to say I, like I come in every day and there's like a stack of newspapers waiting for me and I put those like directly in the recycling thing and then go <laughs> online generally just because or I keep the papers for like to like if I need to really I guess dig that's into the something. way your generation does it exactly <laughs> exactly they um, hate trees exactly. <laughs> um, and uh, but usually go to somewhere like I hate to say like Drudge or something like that just for, like a news aggregation site where there's access to like a lot of different things mm -hmm. and. People always ask, like, how do you possibly stay on top of all the news? And there's no, like, that's never a problem. There's no, and can not you, just because I'm can really. Can you talk good. about like uh, the evolution from you see a story and then uh, like uh, a joke that comes out of that? Yeah, I mean, there's certain things. Like a specific. The drag example. is there's things you have to do jokes on. I much mm -hmm. more prefer the like digging around and finding like the, you know, in Austria, some guy got drunk, broken with zoo, and had sex with an otter or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> just to create, you're like someone invented an air conditioner that makes tomatoes or like stuff like that. It's so much, I mean, that's, so those things you actually kind of dig for. Mm -hmm. And those sort of write themselves once you find the, the otter rape premise. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, there's, and then we, and then we, then we meet and bat stuff around and then we go back and kind of, I work on my own a lot. Um, I, I, I think it, I mean, it's interesting just the number of <laughs> jokes you guys write a day, the three and a half people write. How many? And how, uh, the ratio to how and many And how very few make Conan yes. happy. <laughs> it's, but I'd say it's like maybe one out of ten gets on the air each day, or do you think that's... Yeah, we write a lot of jokes. Yeah. It is a volume business, particularly with the mono. Do you ever, um, like push the leftovers to like Carson Daly or anything? No. <laughs> that would be a good... We, there's, we, there's a shoot that's where we that goes directly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, but he'd be lucky to have them because there's some sweet leftovers. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Some tasty, some tasty leftovers. I don't know why I just thought of it, but once there was a police report in my, in my t town where I'm from, it's kind of small, and the police report was, that was the only police report, and it was that, um, that that someone called the police in the middle of the night to say they walked by the paint pot, which is the town paint store, and noticed that the coffee maker was on. I don't know. I thought you'd enjoy that. I did. That's, um, that's, it's, it, yeah, one thing about just reading news constantly is it can be depressing after a while. I know Brian McCann and I, like, of course, we're looking for comedy ideas and coming up with comedy ideas off the news, but every once in a while, we'll just be Wow, knife crime in London is really out of hand. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's really depressing. I'm fully convinced our society will be a bunch of meth addicts that are murdering everyone within a year. <laughs> the other, it, very it turns you into a terrible person, too, because something genuinely horrible happened, like the subway bombings in London or something, and your first thought is like, oh, fuck, no. We, there's going to be nothing in the news now we can use. Like, these like, terrible things happen and you immediately become so selfish. But that's what Cronin does. I would not say that. <laughs>